I'm Stephanie. Welcome to Fiction Files. This is the playlist where I talk about all things writing, and today I'm going to talk about four excuses for not writing that you cannot use in 2024. As we approach the new year and set new goals for ourselves, it's also a good time to look at the excuses we make for why we might not have met 2023's goals. They say that life is what happens when you're busy making plans, but I always enjoy setting new goals for myself each year and focusing on becoming the best version of myself possible. And to me, that means setting goals around my creative side, especially where writing is concerned. But when it comes to actually sitting at my desk and working on my work in progress or my story, I often find myself making excuses or getting distracted by social media, other websites, and even Spotify by trying to create the perfect writing playlist that I spend all my time doing that instead of actually writing. Well, no more. There's a fresh start coming right around the corner, and I am ready to reach my writing goals in 2024 and stop making excuses. Today, I'm sharing four excuses all writers should eliminate from their repertoire going into 2024. Number one, I have no time. We all lead different lives and spend our time differently based on our schedules, work, family, and other commitments. But trust me, you have time to write. I like to think of my writing time like exercising. You have to commit to it and schedule near day, or before you know it, it'll be bedtime and you didn't get one word down. Many writers suggest making writing a daily habit, kind of like NaNoWriMo teaches us, but that can be hard to commit to, or you might feel like you burn out really quickly. Do what's best for you when it comes to scheduling writing time, even that, if that's just saying your dedicated writing time is from 7 to 8 p.m. on Thursday nights. You may have to make sacrifices with your schedule to fit writing time in, such as getting up earlier or staying up later. If writing is important to you, you'll find the time to fit it in. Compounding on our time problem is the sheer number of distractions we have at our disposal. Even the device we do our writing on is distracting by notifying us of emails, texts, or a photo your sibling shared on social media. If you find that you just can't fit writing time into your routine, it's time to track how you're spending your days with a time tracker. This will only work if you're honest. Did you really watch four episodes of Friends back to back? Did you really spend 30 minutes scrolling through Instagram? Did you get sucked down a rabbit hole on Wikipedia doing research? I'm guilty of all these things too. And that's why I've tried in the past to create a spreadsheet or use a notebook to track how I'm spending my time and finding things I can cut out and replace with writing. Instead of watching YouTube videos during lunch, I will start writing in my notebook or take a walk and record myself talking through my story ideas. Instead of letting Netflix play the next episode, I tell myself it's time to get off the couch and back to my writing space for a writing session. One helpful way to manage distractions and make sure you're focused is to try the Pomodoro technique, where you write and only write for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break to check your phone or other websites. Another time related excuse is the I'll have time for it later. Will you though? What will be different later that you'll suddenly have lots of free time? You have to focus on the now and starting to build good writer habits immediately instead of sometime down the road. Number two, my work isn't good enough. Well, you're right if you don't bother to try. That right there is a sad self-fulfilling prophecy. The only way you become better is by doing the work. Give, your pers- give yourself permission to write badly. No one's going to read the first draft anyway. Remember that it's the journey, not the destination. And unless you're a prodigy, your first attempts aren't going to be bestsellers. And that's okay. It's going to take time and some revisions to have a good draft of your work. If you're feeling stuck, you could also take it upon yourself to study the craft by buying writing books, enrolling in free or affordable online classes like on Udemy, or by joining writing groups to get feedback from other writers. Number three. I'm waiting for inspiration. So you're a waiter, not a writer then. I get it. It can be hard to write when you're not feeling inspired or motivated, but you have to push through. Learn to treat writing like a job. Set goals, deadlines, and create consequences for not following through. Or you could set rewards for meeting your deadlines and goals. If you can't use the excuse of not being inspired at work, you can't use it with your writing. If you feel like your back is up against the wall, there are things you can do to coax your muse into inspiring you, such as listening to music, daydreaming daydreaming about a scene, writing character profiles, revising your story's outline, skipping ahead to an action-packed scene you're excited to write, 
going for a walk, doing a writing prompt, rereading or editing a previous scene, or write a one-shot. It's a scene that won't make it in the final draft, but it's just fun for you to write, like your character's going to a wedding, getting lost in the woods, or going to dinner. It's just something to get that creative muscle flexing. Lastly, number four. I don't know how my story ends. Well, let's find out. This is no excuse not to write because the act of writing will shape your story and show you the ending it's working toward. You could also look at your outline and see what endings fit your story, or analyze your character's arc and finding what ending suits them best. Or just brainstorming different ways your novel can end that exemplify your story's theme. You could even study some of your own favorite books and see what elements you can take from those endings that you really loved and work them into your own story. So tell me, what writing excuse do you tend to use? I am definitely the, I don't have time, and here I am watching Friends for four hours every night. <laughs> Share yours in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching Fiction Files. Music